Alright guys, this process is very simple and easy. Just get out your favorite shampoo. Mine is from Trader Joe's. It's organic. It tingles the heck out of my scalp and has my favorite thing in it, tea tree. And a little bit of this stuff goes a long way, I promise you. I always start with shampooing my hair from my scalp because I know eventually the product is going to work its way down to my ends. As you can see, it's definitely giving me that overall clean. It's not even stripping my hair of all its natural oils. It's doing the job it has to do, literally, and just taking all the dirt with it. It's an amazing product. I'm so silly. But of course, you're going to follow up with your conditioner. I got mine to match. I try to avoid the scalp and I only tend to the parts of my hair shaft. I get my edges and I just make sure I detangle a little bit as much as I can, you know, before I end up putting my deep conditioner in there because that's what's coming up next. I'm also using my favorite deep conditioner. It's by Mio Organics. It's that great mint deep conditioner everybody's talking about. It does the job for me. I use it to finger detangle before I use my denim brush. And y'all, if you don't have one, get you one because it honestly gets all the kinks and knots out of your hair. And it doesn't cause breakage. I only have maybe a little bit just because I had a little bit of heat damage back in the day and I'm still getting rid of it. But I continue the rest of this process throughout my entire head. And after that, these are my results. As you can see, my curls have been brought back to life, but that's the only amount of dead hair I had, so grateful. <laughs> but I'm not going to rinse my deep conditioner out. I'm just going to twist my hair up into like four plaits because this is going to be an overnight conditioner. This is very helpful for moisture retention when it comes to getting some braids in the next day. The only thing I recommend with overnight conditioners is put your shower cap on, and then follow up with your bonnet. Maybe put a towel down over your pillowcase just so the conditioner won't leak onto your, you know, your sheets and your pillowcase and you'd be mad. But this is all you gotta do, guys. And the moisture will remain with your braids, honey. I promise you. So just chill until the next episode. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.